Hello guys, this is Oxman gonna bring you a second video tutorial for Armaholic from Armaholic as well. So what we have left in the editing FAQ is well a lot of stuff, but what we are going to focus on in these two tutorials is animations and accents. And we've already in the first video walked through animation list one, two, three, the moves, um and you just just random stuff and what we have left here in this area is C130 animations and how to apply them how to disable and enable the lights of houses and other buildings we also have the MV22 Osprey folded and making a group of units sit and shut down car engine I chose to jump over this one because script action to make a player enter a vehicle that doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> not for me, but maybe for you. Uh, if you do want that um, to be walked through, please, please do tell me, and I shall do my best. But so let's go into the C130 animations, and here you can see that the names of all the things we need to add, and here's a test. So it's very, very self-explanatory, but I'm still gonna walk through it. Um, you can also do the f thing for the MY24, which we will do, and then the same thing with uh, all these stuff. Um, I am going to upload this mission I have here uh, as an example mission. That way, you can download it and put it into Armor 2 other profiles, um, your profile, your missions, and Armorholic. Oh wait, just put it in there in the missions folder. Um, and of course extract it because it will be a Vinra map so or Win or Ra map so basically what we have here is the scripts that we need specifically first of all we have the sit down SQF we go into that one this set behavior safe this disable AI animation this action sit down this remove all weapons this sleep five wait until if animation state is not sit down then sleep one two three this sit down so basically it's just a this is just a safe thing if the animation isn't right uh, it will try and do it again so that's good the light is this object underscore house is just name for it nearest objects so it finds the nearest objects to the object center and I've placed the game logic called center it checks for house and it will do that in 1500 meter radius so for it's gonna do animate lights and that's it that's all you need you put this in the SQF and you name it I've named it mine lights and that is it for everything you need to see outside the game let's go into the game then look how the magic looks like that was very stupid right so we're in the game um here i put up some uh, funny stuff um first of all i'm just going to walk through because when you download the example mission you might not understand what everything means but basically here is the animations for the sit down okay so you remember that i've already named a script called sit down sqf so i go in here underscore x execute sit down sqf for each unit group this so that basically means it will do this script for everyone in his group and that is all these guys so let's move them together so they sit nice and tight and then we'll have this guy's just disabled AI move so it doesn't move anywhere just gonna stand there and look at them here we have the C130 animations so this animate ramp underscore top one one means open and you can close these by you know putting a radio trigger and on action put the C130 animate ramp top zero and it closes um, ramp button door one door two one and door two two so that's all there is for the C130 I mean you can open and close these with the script animate just make sure you change these to whatever you want zero means of course close one means open and um, the Osprey is the same, except this is a script, um, the CA script, uh, which is already in the game. So, 
Uh, this you don't have to care about, but this is two different stuff you need to send in. If you use a global script or like uh, in, in the init, you need a name for this. So if you name this super, you have to write that here too, because this super, if this was in the init um, of the whole mission, now it's in the init file of the unit. That way we can use this. So one, close, zero, open. So that's changed in that. And uh, same here, we have animations. The first ones are for the left side, I believe. And the right one is for the right, or this one is for the right side. And um, they have, I don't know, I think this is Czech language. I don't know what they, what it's called, but um, it's not English. <laughs> so that's for the MI24. And um, down here, we have a, another officer here. And this is the game logic which I talked about is center and radio alpha no exit beam lights SQF and this here up here is car one and this is just a citizen we have a little special thing here I can explain what this does Spetsnaz group this names this group Spetsnaz X set unit post middle for each unit of this group it basically makes every unit in this group crouch and they can't stand up. This here is the trigger. So we put a vehicle, we put F2 and dragged it to that vehicle. So when that vehicle is in this radius, it will activate. And what it does is car one, action, engine off, car one. So it shuts down the engine, car action, lights off. I just made that for, so you can, you know, that is an animation you can do. So you can shut down the lights of this car. But the thing is, this doesn't really work for players. I mean, if you hold in the, uh, you know, the forward key, you will start the engines up again. So what that needs to be, uh, you can change all this instead and put car 1 set fuel 0. You have no fuel. You can also, if you want, like immediate, if you say, oh... Uh, amazing forces have stopped your car, shit, uh, you, or you rammed something, or you lost your wheels, whatever. If you want the car to just halt instantly, you press this, set the velocity, and brackets, zero, zero, zero. And that's uh, X, X, Y, Z. So, up, down, right, whatever. I won't use that because that just looks stupid <laughs> in this case. And what I've done here is put a hold waypoint with a destroy waypoint. And I put here, do target car 1, do fire car 1 for each unit of the Spetsnaz group. So they will kill me. So that should be, this should be the ending <laughs> stuff of my video, video. So I die. So basically, this is a switch trigger if you didn't know about this you can synchronize switch triggers with hold and the hold will be then just removed and will, they will move to the next one so that is it for everything that needs explaining um, let's take this into the game and there you go yours truly sitting down looking at this guy hello fellas gonna sit here all day yep and um, what else do we have? We have this one here, which is the C-130. And there's the first ramp up and bottom. That is the upper one. This is the bottom one. This is 2-1 or 2-2. So, those two. And this is the door number one. The entering door. <laughs> so, here you can see the Osprey is a bit folded. You can open this. However, it will do a huge opening. Or, like, quick. As Ooh, I don't know. It's just quick. It's like instant. Um, that is <laughs> a bug. That's supposed to be like collision lights of this, of the wings. So here we have the MI24. Like open doors. You can see on the left side as well. You can see right through it. And on the outside. That is it for this section. Let's move to the lights. So you can see here. There is no lights. Why is there no lights? There's no lights anywhere. So let's add this script and look to the left and right. Lights are on. Somebody's home. So that script does add some lights. And try to do that on Cherneris on night. That is very beautiful. 
and then you can fly around. So now we can try out the civilian getting ambushed and engine speed messed up. So um, let's go right into that. Um, we're out on a zombie mission. We no, we James Bond, and we're running. We're running from the Russians. And oh bollocks, the engines just died. And we have a Russian. Oh, I just rammed it. Oh no. <laughs> yes! I did kill him, I think. I just rammed someone. That's terrible. Uh, <laughs> it was initially supposed to be them. Oh, wait. Is he holding an RPG? Did he, blew... he just blew us up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very good. Very good <laughs> indeed. So, um... Um... Yeah, that's all the footage I have for you now. This has been animations and moves, and I hope you've learned something. Um, I want to thank Armaholic for letting me get this out to you guys. Um, I um, You should thank Armaholic for these videos, and thank me, of course, by liking and subscribing. Um, that's all i got for you today, and I'll spin up.